Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the Runaway Glamour Eyeshadow Palette. I got this in my glossy box. Um, so it's the Profusion Runaway, Runaway, Runway Eye Collection. It has six eyeshadows inside. Um, so yeah, this is what we are testing out today and that's what's on my eyes now. Um, so if you want to see me test this out, you can just keep on watching. Okay, so we are reviewing the Runaway Glamour eyeshadow palette. This was in my glossy box. Um, that video should be up before this one. Yes, so you should know about this. <laughs> okay, so I have got the little card here from the glossy box. Okay, so it's from Profusion, which to be fair, it doesn't actually say on here that it's from Profusion. Anyway, um, so yeah, it says, oh, mind this. Ah, <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. I will take this off when we start actually doing something. <clears throat> Basically, my nails were so long, they were like, why am I, why have I got a card on my face? They were like this long, and I caught this one in my shoe, and I was trying to put it on, like, quite aggressively, I guess. And it snapped the whole thing, and it went very, very far down, <coughs> and it was bleeding. So I've put this on there so I don't knock it, so sad times so now I've cut them all off and now they're all stumpy. Anyway back to the video. <laughs> okay so it says the Runaway Eye Collection filled with six blendable eyeshadows this is the perfect palette to smoke and smolder with where one eyeshadow alone blend and contour with a couple or apply wet for an intense liner look. Um, a small applicator is included which I threw away because no. <laughs> Making it the perfect desk drawer essential to take you from day to night and this is £3.75 pretty cheap so this is what the packaging looks like oh by the way can you see Doris in the background come on there Doris she's all Christmassy uh, anyway so yeah this is the this is the packaging and it's got a little class which is cute I keep playing with it like ooh. this is the back with all the ingredients in Featuring my nail. <laughs> okay, and then inside we have got a mirror, very small mirror, um, a couple of tips on how to use it. <clears throat> so I'll quickly read these. Um, one for the ins for the smoky look, use a dark shade only to line your upper eyelid, upper eyelid, in a fairly thin line along the upper lashes. I can't speak. Use a medium shade for the crease. They're all shimmery. How can you use one in the crease? And the lightest shades for the area under the eyebrow. So it's just going to be shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, number two. For the green glow, use a light green. Dark green. What? Use light green, green medium, and dark green. There aren't any greens in here. What are they on about? Use a dark shade only to line the upper eyelid in a fairly thin long... This is the same. It says the exact same. One, two, three and four say so the exact same. I'm not even joking. says the exact same. How weird is that? Okay. I'm guessing because there are four of these because we've got the Berry Bloom. I don't even know. But anyway, here are the colours. Let's just ignore all of that because that was awful. These are the colours. So they are all shimmer colours. Um, it says you can put it in the crease. So does that mean it's not very shimmery? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I'm gonna prime my eyelids and then we'll just crack on, I think. So I'm just using some concealer. I really will take this bandage off because it looks atrocious. Okay, I need to set my eyelid. My eyelid. Although I'm gonna be doing things like this now. So I don't knock it. Okay. I don't know whether to use a matte shade 
or just try and use the whole thing. What do you think? Shall we try it? This is gonna be awful. Okay, <laughs> it needs to be good though, because I need to film something else after this, so. Okay, I'm gonna use this like, am I, or am I? Okay, I might use this pink one up here. And hopefully it doesn't come out too shimmery when I blend it like this. Shall I use this tiny mirror? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's very shimmery. It's very shimmery. Okay, scrap that. I'm just going to quickly take a bronzer. I'm just going to take this from Ted Baker. It's the... Is there a name on it? No. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this bronzer quickly and then take the matte bit and just go in the crease because that is just too shimmery for my liking. And just no. Just no. So already it's kind of annoying that I'm having to use something else. I kind of knew that I would have to as soon as I saw them that they were all shimmery. Um, but some shimmers you can kind of get away with it because when you blend them the shimmer kind of goes um, that one did not so definitely not good for the crease but now we know so that will do okay so we've got like a crease colour going on okay now I'm going to use I'm gonna get a flat brush. Oh my finger. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I am gonna try. I feel like these two are the same colour. Do you think? They look exactly the same. Are they are they the same on camera? That one looks darker on camera. They're really not. They're so similar. I'm gonna take that one anyway and see what it looks like on, oh, there's quite a lot of fallout going on here I don't know if you can see that and I'm going to place it on my lid and just see what happens not bad I might try and wet it it is quite, it's quite powdery it's a nice shade though let me zoom you in Quite a nice shade. Quite a nice like rose, rosy pinky kind of colour. Okay, I might wet the brush now. I've got some on the brush. I'm gonna wet it. And see what that does. Does say you can wet it, so here we go. Mm. It's a lot more kind of metallic now it's wet. Quite shiny, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say it's better than the non wet one non-wet one <laughs> you know what I mean so I would definitely wet these shadows if you're gonna use them it's quite a nice colour actually I'm just gonna go over the other one with and like wet it a little bit so they look the same yeah you can definitely tell the difference can't you okay And just go over it just to intensify it. Yeah, that's better. The pigment on these aren't bad, to be fair. I mean, they're only, what, £3.75? That's quite cheap. These look all right. Okay. Right, I might go on with the white one and put it in the middle like a little halo. I see a halo. Halo. Right. I'm just going to go in the middle. Oh, I didn't even pick that much up then. That's really cute. I 
haven't wet it. Should I wet it? Come on then. Let's see. I don't know if that made much difference on that one. Maybe because I'm layering it. It's pretty reflective though, huh? Ooh. I feel like I'm very limited with this palette though. The shades aren't amazing. Like I don't have much to go with now, have I? Mm. I could try a bit of that white shade on my brow bone. Let's try that. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I feel like I'm going to go back in with that blending brush that we used with that bronzer. Just to do something. <laughs> It's very pale. I think it's a little bit too pale. Oh, where are we where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? Okay, I'm gonna have to try and use this like bluey greyish colour. Just to see what we can do. Taking it on a smaller brush. Wow, that's a lot of fallout. Okay, right, I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I'm going to try and deepen it up a bit. Because it's very pale. I look a bit washed out. Pigment isn't too bad. I thought it would be a bit darker, but... I'm going to go in the crease with this because... Wow, it can't get much worse, can I? <laughs> Okay, back in with the blender. Oh, picking up multiple brushes. And I'm just gonna blend that quickly. That doesn't look too bad. It might look better with lashes and stuff. I mean, I'm hoping so. See, there's not, this one is not very dark considering how dark it is in the pan. Like, it's not the best payoff. The other two look closer to the actual colour that's in the pan. Like, they're okay. This one, though. No, there's a lot of fallout on my face right now. A lot of fallout. Um, let me do lashes and mascara and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so I've got some lashes on. I did put some eyeliner on because it was just way too light. Um, so let me zoom you in quickly. Ooh. So these lashes are Clementine from Unicorn Cosmetics. Boop, 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 boop. Clement Tan. Um, so they're really quite wispy and natural. Um, I still don't really like the eyeshadow. Um, I mean, it's not awful, but it's not the best look I've ever done. So what I'm going to do to try and salvage this <laughs> is to do my full face, which is going to be another video anyway. Um, and then I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. And then we'll do final views. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've got the rest of my makeup on. Um, I mean, it does look a little bit better. Um, it's still not the best eyeshadow. I'll zoom you in one more time. Just one more. Like... It's not amazeballs, but I mean, £3.75, so 
what it was, 3 35 For that price point, it's probably okay. But I don't think I would be reaching for it, if I'm honest. Um, they're definitely better wet, definitely. Um, they have got, like, the red ones, red ones, they're like pinky, aren't they? These ones, they did have some pigment in. This bottom one did not, uh, which is a real shame. Um, this white one was okay, but they're just not, they're not amazing. Um, bit of a shame, but for that price, I mean, if you just want to play around with makeup, if you're new to makeup, maybe that would be okay just to play around with colour and stuff like that. Um, I think they might have some more shades. Um, so maybe because it's cheap, you can play around with it a bit more and it doesn't matter too much. Um, ugh. I personally wouldn't buy it myself. Sorry. <laughs> I don't mean, I hate being horrible. I'm not trying to be horrible. I just don't like it. Um, and obviously I need to be honest with you. Otherwise there's no point in me doing this video. <laughs> um, it's just not the best. They don't blend very well. And I don't know why it says that you can put it in the crease. No. Just don't. <laughs> I would never normally put a shimmer in my crease anyway. Um, but for it to say... You can put it in your crease and it's still really shimmery. They obviously don't know what they're about. <laughs> um, which is very frustrating. Um, so yeah, that is how I feel about it. I would not buy it again. That's it. <laughs> um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, a bit of a fail I guess. Ooh. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up for Doris. Come on Doris. So Christmassy today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell below so you get notified every time I upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.